Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Kibi's Collectibles. I'm Pam and in today's video we are shopping at my hometown Goodwill to see what we can find for home decor or to resell. And speaking of reselling, I will be hosting a live sale on my channel this Thursday, March 3rd at 6 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to be selling some of the items that you have seen me thrift and I'd love to have you join in on the chat. Being able to chat with you during the sale would be so much fun. Beth from Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties will join me on this sale. Y'all, she is a pro and will keep me between the lines as this will be my first live sale in the driver's seat. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel and that you join in on Thursday, March 3rd at 6 p.m. right here on Kibi's Collectibles. So until then, let's get shopping. So grab your coffee grab your tea and let's get thrifting let's start out by taking a look at this bedside carafe these items are great to have if you have company staying with you they're great to have by that bedside so your guest doesn't have to stumble around your house at night looking for something to drink i like that it was etched with those fall leaves that was a nice touch I loved these Congress playing cards. I really like those green colors. It's like you're getting ready for March. And this is one of my favorite mugs to find. I love this FTD rainbow mug. Unfortunately, this one was not in the best condition. It has spent too many go arounds in the dishwasher. Well, this is the cutest little ram. Oh my gosh, it's so adorable. Look how woolly he is. And he's just a little figurine. So, so cute. Now this color is an eye catcher. It is that beautiful emerald green. This is probably a contemporary bottle that you can buy in the stores but it would be great for your March decor. Take a look at this piece. It does look like Holt Howard. However, it could be one of those copycat versions. It was covered in kitchen grease filth. Here we have another precious figurine. This looks like it could be a hobbyist piece, and if so, they did a wonderful job. She was quite beautiful. This definitely looks like it could be glass bake, but it wasn't marked on the bottom, so I'm not quite sure. These brass candlesticks were so me. I absolutely love them. I did have a hard time getting the taper out. Actually, it didn't come out. And there were only two of them with no price. This is such a fun mug. It has that starburst pattern. It is contemporary, but the price was pretty good. Oh, look at this piece of pottery. I can definitely see the chips all around with the salsa in the middle. Mm, it is a signed piece of pottery and it was quite sturdy. This would be great for Cinco de Mayo or just anytime you want chips and dip. Well, this is a cute little elephant. It's a candle holder, but I bet if you can get the wax out, it can easily become a planter. 
this is a porcelain figurine she caught my eye she's really cute and it turns out she is a music box and of course she is from Japan I don't know who her maker is she feels bisque so she's not desirable as figurines with a smoother glaze I found these vacuum cleaner bags and I'm not really interested in vacuum cleaner bags, but more so the images on the front. Check this out. These next few pieces were all hobbyist pieces and I thought they were nicely done. This is a vintage honey pot. It did not have the spoon. And if I were to resell this, $3.95 is already a steep price. So I left this one behind. This was such a fun mug. Look at the face. This is by Tassen, and I believe it is from Germany. Do you remember Morris from the Nine Lives commercials? You know, Morris was very finicky. Unlike Kibi, Kibi will eat anything. What is this? Beautiful. These are candle holders. The first one was for a taper, and this larger size is for a votive. These are amazing. And what is this in the back? Always check the back of the shelves. Look at this beautiful mug. And this looks like an Otagiri mug. I love that image on the front of that beautiful owl and look at the one on the back. Oh, what a fantastic find. I thought this glass tree was so pretty. I picked it up and carried it around in my cart for a while. It is an Avon piece. It should have a base and the base lights up the tree. I really love the star on top, but I did leave this one behind. I don't have a teapot, but if I were to have a teapot, this one would be it. Look at this gorgeous pattern. I absolutely love it. And the cups that match, oh, this would work so well with my decor. Unfortunately, this teapot has been bashed up just a little too much, even for decor purposes. And it was heartbreaking, but I did have to leave this one behind. Blue and white lovers, this is your alert here. I stood there beside the gentleman that was putting these on the shelf and I got the first look. Some of these pieces are gorgeous. Some of them had the name Churchill on the bottom. They were made in England. I'm not sure about everything. This one was actually from someone's antique booth.
they had this nice coffee pot and of course the teapot I'm not sure if all the patterns are the same but I believe they all came from the same person Check out this unique boomerang shaped ashtray. It is so cool. Unfortunately, it does have some places on it that are chipped off, but man, oh man, this is such a cool piece. I decided to pick up the precious little ram. I didn't need it, but then again, I felt like I did need it, so I have it. I probably will try to sell this in a live sale or just maybe put it in my booth. The next thing I picked up was the Morris the Cat mug. Now, Morris has been around for a long time and he is a finicky little fellow, but there are so many out there that remember Morris and just love that nostalgic feeling. So I think I'm gonna try to sell Morris. I had to pick up this Owl Otagiri mug. I don't think I've ever seen one so pretty as this one. It is definitely going to be sold either in my booth or on a live sale. I grabbed these two Gorin Wharf for Christabota candle holders. One is for a taper and one looks to be for a votive. I love their little fingers and I normally don't burn candles in my home. So I plan on selling these either in a live sale or if you're interested, you can send me an email. My email address is down below in the description box. What pieces of Blue Willow did I buy? Well, actually, this is the only thing that I purchased. And it's technically not Blue Willow. It is blue and white. And I love the pattern that was on these butter spreaders. It's this beautiful peacock. They were just stunning. And I always love a little butter on my toast. So I grabbed these and I definitely will sell these as well. That is all, everyone. Thank you for shopping along with me today. If you enjoyed this type of content, please subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment down below and make sure to hit that like button. Tap the little bell so you'll always know the next time I post a video. Until then, my friends, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.